James. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? Hi, man. Same old, same old. How you doing? Good, good, brother. Good, good, good. So what's going on, man? What what you got going on? Oh, man, work, work, work all the time. I heard that, heard that. Can you believe what some of these people are doing? <sighs> man, I've known Ernie since the MMA days. Can so. I see you guys or what? Why we still oh, can you see me? Up? Oh, what's no, up, bud? I, the screen's up. Uh, Ernie's got the screen up. Oh, yeah, he's got the uh, lightning tiger thing up. What's up, there God? We go. James, up, bro? bro? It's good to see you, man. What's up, man? Long time, man. Long time. Yeah, I know. I've gotten fat since my MMA days. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, brother. So, so the discussion that I'm seeing going on is uh, I- I've been in here since the uh, membership deal um, medallion, which I know nothing about. So, uh, but like I said, I've known Ernie for quite a while. By know him, what do you mean by know him? Uh, well, you guys spend a lot of time together. Nah, you... back in the uh, back in the MMA Brotherhood, um, Ernie used to run around and help promote shows and things like that as well. Back in the day, I mean, this has been years ago. So you just knew him for a bit back in the MMA days. Oh, yeah. I mean, boxing, MMA, things like that. Okay. Hell of a little boxer, man. I, I give him that one. He's, he's a hell of a little boxer. Okay. So you 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 know about, like, the previous membership that was, like, a year ago, and then it took him until uh, yesterday of me bugging him on live streams to pay back somebody? Well, now as far as as far as memberships, like I said, I don't know as much. Um, I, honestly, I don't. It's been oh. like I said, it's been years, and uh, this just happened to come across the page. So I was like, hey, I'll check in. <laughs> I heard that man. So here's the thing about that. I didn't even know she wanted any money back. I didn't even know that, and I and we I explained that. And you, you said that was good. I didn't know it. Didn't know it at all. And then I had to check. I'm not just going to give somebody a hundred dollars and them said, "Oh, he did this. He took a hundred dollars." I'm not not less me verifying it that they paid me. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But uh, no, no, no. Now the one thing that I did want to bring up with Ernie, and I know this to be true, uh, you know, he had talked about dodging people, and I and I do got to call you out on this, Ernie. I also know about the uh, Bluefield, West Virginia promoter incident. So I, I do got to ask you about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've already talked about that. I mean, I admitted that hell. That was crazy. That was really, really crazy. Thing. Yeah, because I've, I've kind of watched the videos and I wanted to be like, well, you know, it, that's not really cool because, you know, I've I've worked with just about every promoter of MMA in Kentucky, um, whether it be cage crew, whether it be setting up for shows, whatever the case may be. So, you know, as a promoter, I've seen those guys struggle, but they still never dodged. And, well, and it kind of gives that bad rap, you know what I mean? Well, but, you know, I, I remember the last time that I seen Ernie Shell, he was uh, supposed to have been doing uh, bounty hunting or uh, searching for like, lost children or something like that. Uh, and I had a friend, well, actually a family member who, who has since passed, who you were supposed to have found his nephew, and you claimed that you was the one that found him, but yet he walked home, but you was on Facebook bragging that you had searched him down and found him. And Well, the search can officially be called off now. Look at this. No shirt on. Sweating. I'm sweating. I don't know how you're sweating. Probably because of the ice and everything you slept under. I jogged halfway. That's his stepdad, great guy. After we got snow all in her boots and got her feet all froze up, look what, look at the result. Right, we're live now. All right. 
Prentice Pack in the hat, DA in the beard. DA Inman, Prentice Pack. Prentice, how you're not almost 19 now, right? Okay. Now, one of Ernie Shell's actually his only claim to actually saving a child from from certain doom is Prentice Pack. So uh tell us um First of all, did he save your life that day? Okay. And was there was there two feet of snow on the ground? Okay. Tell me what was actually going on that day and, and what happened to where you came about meeting up with Ernie that day. Well, I was at the girl's house, had my phone off, whatever. Next day, I turned my phone off, started walking home. About halfway on, we picked me So Ernie met up with you the day after you'd hooked up with your girlfriend or whatever, and you were headed home. Yeah, it saved you. And you were actually walking home and almost home at that point, right? Yep. And then he rolled up with your stepdad in a car and picked you up. Yep. Okay. Um, now, um, as far as the... Uh, Minutes on your phone and all that. How did that come about? Was it was there actually minutes put on your phone, or did you just have it powered off? You just had it turned off. So even that that part was fabricated from Ernie. Okay. So see, I've been giving him credit for at least that. Like, yeah, Ernie said put minutes on the phone, but even that was a lie. I should have known better. All right. But he was at home. You said he was at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the story come out, um, we all know uh, in the MMA community, a lot of people would remember DA because he helped out with a lot of the show. And you were supposed to be hunting his nephew down. And you had made like this big search. They had made posts on Facebook that they were searching for. The kid was at home. He was, uh, there's a video and I can't find it now, but there was a video of Prentice saying, oh, I was found by Ernie Shell," But he was at home the entire time. If he was at home by the, if he was if he was at home, if he was home by the entire time, how did we find him on the road walking then? When he come out of the hills, or was he heading from his girlfriend's house? I don't know, but I didn't know that at the time. Only thing I know that DA contacted me and said, "My family member's missing. I need your help," and I just did what I did. So, you you make a story to make yourself an elaborate you know, big story, but then you turn around and you can't back any of that stuff up. Well, I, I done a video with it. I put the video out. So, I mean, the video proof that we went walking in the mountains, looking, tracking his footsteps, all that, it shows. So, I, I know some of the shadiness that's that's went on in the background. So, Oh, there's plenty of shadiness in it with Jimbo as well. Jimbo never done me wrong. Um, you know, I, the one time that uh, with Jimbo that I ever had an issue was I was supposed to got paid for a show, found out that the money was paid. It just wasn't paid to me. Um, but no, no, I understand that. So what am I doing wrong today? Somebody help me out here. Somebody find coot tooth comb it now so I can know. Well, I, I do want to know what this uh, Tiger membership club really is all about. I mean, what are you getting as a member? I'm curious about this four ninety nine. What what do I get as a member? Am I just going to say that I'm part of a club? Well, yeah, you're part of a club, part of a group, secret group. So that sounds more like a cult. Oh God, it is. And on Fridays, man, we actually we worship things. No, no, a cult a cult doesn't necessarily have to worship anything. Gonna... But if you have so many bad mistakes in your past, would you really want anybody to follow you? So you say I have a lot of bad mistakes in my life. It, you just admitted it a few minutes ago that you've done a lot of things in your past that you're not proud of. You, you have, have dodged I people. have done a lot of things. So, I, I so, didn't dodge nobody. Never dodged nobody. So what I'm saying is if, if you've done that in your past, then why turn around and want people to follow you? Why, why charge them a membership for it? Why not just say, hey, this I don't want anybody else to be like this or do anything like this in my past. Here's my advice on things. You don't have to charge for that. I help people out all the time. 
the I, work, I work for the government as well. Uh, I'm, what, a, what I'm is, an agent, so. Then why? Then why is uh, people like other creators charging for? It? And I can't charge. You're saying for something? No, 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 no. I wouldn't put it as a membership. Now, now, in saying that, you could turn around and put a subscription to your podcast. Put it as a subscription. People can become a subscriber and donate to your podcast, but don't put it as a membership. Put it and say, hey, I'll charge a four ninety nine a month for anybody who wants to do a subscription. You'll get the benefit of getting all of my shows on YouTube. You'll get extra behind the scenes stuff that only you can find or you'll get emote specialty for you. You can't turn around and say, oh, it's a membership because you're not getting anything for a membership. That's just awesome. Well, yeah. It's like it's not like a rebranding T-shirt. It's a new. It's the old it's, brand. It's Ernie Shell. I mean, it's just yeah. T-shirts. So they get thirty-five percent off T-shirts. Mm-hmm. And then the new pendants that's coming out that you're going to lose money on easy. That's going to be wild. That's going to be good. Actually, mm-hmm. you have to admit that to your people. Do what? I get thirty-five percent off shirts, and then what? It's what we're going to be doing in the group. I'm building a group up. It's going to be awesome. So I got I'm going to gradually to leave YouTube. That's, That's my awesome. whole deal. Is gradually leave. Yeah. Put down. So awesome. it's like a wish. Put down awesome. of Scientology. Well, I mean, I plan on giving away money and stuff. That's cool too, right? So a wish version of Scientology, basically. Like you got to pay to get into this club, and then we're going to be doing giveaways, and then, you know. It's whenever, you know, it's not like a, like, do you have a set schedule for the giveaways? So, so I do have a question here. Ernie, do you have any idea who Patty Mayo is? I know who Patty Mayo is. Okay. <laughs> so, so is that kind of what you tried to, um, oh, do, God. do with the bounty hunting deal? Because, it's, uh, I remember at one point you was promoting a video saying that you were going on a hunt to do all these bounties. Um, and I remember this very clearly of you promoting this saying that she was going to start recording your, your bounties. And that's kind of what Patty Mayo does, but he does it on a bigger scale. Patty Mayo's fake, dude. He don't have a license. He didn't have a license. He don't have a license. So all the film, wait, so the one that's like completely filmed and the whole journey's filmed, that's fake. Yours of a video showing up with an old man on a, on a bench and telling him to go home completely real got you i just want to make sure that's what we're saying here that's why i asked you i just asked you i've I've been licensed during the predator i was licensed i was licensed as a bounty hunter as a matter of fact i'm still licensed as a bounty hunter until the end of this year but now you're in the coal mines right i said that that was a joke i said that you said that, so you were lying about that, yeah. I said that. I own up to that. I said that I was a coal miner. So what is, is it, it in your is business, it, though, man? What I do for work? What is what it, is it your do? business who behind Green Eyes is? What is it your business about the other two women you got doxxed in that same life? Why is it so when everything I, gets whoa, pushed whoa, whoa, on you, you it's said why I, whoa, is whoa, it your whoa, whoa, business, whoa, but then you're trying whoa, to dox whoa, whoa. people in your chat? You said, I, you said I doxxed behind Green Eyes, right? You tried. Oh, I tried. Yeah, okay. I tried. Bring up what your your Tiger Lori decides to have her mind on. You should bring that up. Go ahead, bring that up. Oh Lord. Yeah. Not naked. I say naked when woman asses on a video with your small ones on it. You ask, I answer. Mm-hmm. And it's just like I find it funny. Like every time, like there's like anger in your guys's crowds yours nicolina's all your crowds every time there's anger something with kids have to be brought up so like i just i want to know what her answer what she was answering that to you don't find that weird ernie that she decided to mention my kids being in a video you don't know like it's a montage music video so it's like the montage of that year that i made that song but like yeah uh, I, the fact that you relate the sexual part of the video to the kids of the video, you're the fucking weird ones, right? You're mm-hmm. the weird ones because I I don't think anybody that doesn't have their mind in the fucking gutters and on kids all the fucking time wouldn't think, oh, well, why do you have your video beside a girl with their ass? Blah, blah, blah. Like, what the fuck? They're not even in the same video. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's skits from different videos. 
Mm -hmm. So can I ask you a question? Can you show me? Can you show me where it's illegal? Anything I've done? Donkey again. That's it. You writing it down? Leave. Huh? You writing it down? No, I'm starting to work on a portrait of you. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool deal. Yeah. Be careful about that speak. You might copy it and try to sell it on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> 